Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we will see how to use Connected Papers. It is an amazing website which can be immensely helpful as a research tool. You can use it to get a visual overview of a field as it makes a cool graph of similar papers. It can also be used to make sure you haven't missed any important papers. Making bibliography also becomes an easy task. Let's see how this works. First of all, to build a graph, there are many different options to enter the input like Semantic Scholar and PubMed URL, but Paper DOI is the best option for all papers. Now, we will use Google Scholar to search papers on changes in Arctic sea ice and choose any one paper. The paper will open on the publisher's website. You can see the journal and title of paper here. Just below, the DOI is given in most cases. DOI is Digital Object Identifier, which is unique. Important note, when you paste the link, make sure you click on the suggestion, which is shown just beneath the tab. Here we go, the graph displaying all the nodes. Each node represents a paper, and they are connected by lines, some are big, some are dark while some are more closer to each other. On the left side of the panel, you can the list of all the papers. As you click on any of them, it highlights the respective node. The right panel displays the abstract, citations and references of the chosen paper from the list. Just below the title, different links to open the paper are provided. You can open it in Connected Papers, Semantic Scholar, Publisher's Website and Google Scholar. Opening it in Connected Papers will make a visual graph for the selected article. You can explore all the papers here. The color of each node depicts the chronography of papers. Dark nodes indicate that the paper is new. Conversely, faded nodes stand for relatively old papers. The size of the node is also important. The bigger the node, more citations it has and vice versa. This is very useful to easily select important and impactful papers. In the graph, similar papers have strong connecting lines and these are in a cluster together. The distance between two papers depicts the similarity, related papers are more closer. Sometimes, the graph may have different clusters of papers. Now, we will expand the left side panel. It shows some extra information about each paper. The year of publication, citations, references along with a similarity index with respect to origin are displayed. Names of all authors are mentioned too. This list can be downloaded also. Let's see two cool feature before moving on, the night mode and snow mode. You can turn on the night mode if you don't like the bright display. The snow mode shows snow in the nodes, which is kind of cool too. The site differentiates between prior works and derivative works too. Prior works are important seminal works for the field and it is a good idea to get familiar with them. The derivative work tab shows the papers which are either surveys of the field or recent relevant works which were inspired by many papers in the graph. Both are important reads. Finally note that this is not a citation tree, the website analyzes around 50,000 papers using algorithm before making graph. Thanks for watching the video, please subscribe the channel.